Good morning. Sorry, I had to pull the charger out. Good morning, everyone. It is almost 10. ten on Thursday morning. I've just made a bacon sandwich. And because I made decided to put it on a roll, there's a piece left so Luna can have it. Oh, there's bag of the day. It's a nice cream colored. I don't know what you'd call that, actually. It's nice. It's actually not cream. It's more of a, don't know, not cream. <laughs> Ashley just uh, called, I thought something was up, but her car's ready, so she has to go get a car, and they don't take checks, so, because um, I'd written her a check out for the insurance money part, she has to come grab my card now, because they, they only take cash or credit, and unfortunately, you can't get that much money out unless you actually go in the bank and ask for it, I suppose, but it's just easier just to give her my card and have them swipe it. Uh, what else? And then she's going to pay the rest. We're just covering, I mean, we're not covering any of it. It's the insurance that's covering. We've given her that much. What else, Luna Bella? Um, um <laughs> I don't know. Just edited the vlog. Pete's at work. Then he's going to a baseball game, I believe, after work at the school. And then he'll be home. Ashley gets off at four, then she's got to go get her car because it's open until five. And then she's going to Queen. So she'll probably come home, change real quick, go get her car and take off. So hopefully everything will be good with the car. Right, Luna? You like that word because someone thinks she's going. But unfortunately, we're staying home today. Tomorrow, I will go pick up the boat keys. Uh, the slot has been allocated, but unfortunately, they don't mail them anymore. You have to go pick them up on the times they have for you to go pick them up is um, Pete's at work already, so he won't be able to. Uh, I have to go, Pete. So I just like... made another quarter. Look at the size of that, of the case here, and I have a few, not too many. They're just big um, lime chips with a bit of very spicy <laughs> guacamole and a squirt of sour cream. And my best friend in the whole wide world is sitting right here. Right, Luna? Can I just ask you guys something? For people that use iPhones, do you find sometimes when you go into like your, the photo area with the camera, the video button is not there sometimes on mine. And then I have to like come out of it, go back in. And I just had to do it three times. Anyway, it's back now, obviously. I haven't vlogged today because it's been a busy afternoon. I had a nice chat with mom. When I got off the phone with mom, I called um, a bunch of senior, you know, about the senior pictures. I've given out four, and I'm supposed to have three more coming, but I have a feeling it's 20 past six that they're not coming. But, of course, if I go upstairs and put the pyjamas on, they'll come. <laughs> I know it's only 20 past six, and you're saying, pyjamas, but I've got jeans on. I've been in jeans all day. Uh, Pete's went right from work to the school for a baseball game. Ashley came home, she went and got her car. Ashley left work, went and got her car, came home, got changed, and she's gone to Queen's. I went out and looked at her car. Perfect. Looks brilliant. There's just the marks by the the um, the gas, where she puts the gas in. It's still white and scratched, but Pete maybe had to buff that out. I think if they fixed that, it was going to be a whole other issue. And then, because um, it, it belongs to a piece that goes up over the roof and down to the front. So they re replaced the door and they replaced the front right panel. Um, on the front bumper, she had a hole where some idiot backed into her car at work in the parking lot and never said a word because Ashley always backs in. So somebody was obviously backing out of their spot and didn't bother to look where they were going and left a hole, which was quite big because you could get your finger in it. Well, it looks like they melted it a little bit and the hole is a lot smaller now, but it looks like buckled, but it looks like they had to go and try to fix it for her or at least, you know, like make it smaller. She's like, I'll live with it. <laughs> but, the, you know, at least now the car door can open and close properly. And hopefully she'll get her money back for the rental soon. But yeah. She went and did that, took care of it. 
I've got to wait until Pete comes home, and that way if the people come, then he he can give them to them. But I honestly don't think they're going to come tonight now. I think they may have forgotten. I've had my first faux pas on Poshmark. I'd mailed out a really nice black, I showed you guys, video, a uh, black phone case, glittery phone case from Kate Spade. It was one of the wallet types. I mailed it out last Wednesday. The day she bought it, I mailed it out. For some reason, it never tracked. And she asked me a couple of days about it. I said, I promise you, I mailed it out. Well, then you get these automated emails from Poshmark. It's time to send it. It's time to send it. I've sent it. And I've written to Poshmark three times saying, I've sent it. And now today she's cancelled it. So if it's going undetected um, and it arrived at her place, she's kept it and got her money back. Or if it's lost in the source somewhere, I'm hoping it comes back, return to sender, but there's there's no track. I can't track it. So, oh, well. Annoys me, but thank goodness it wasn't the bag that I mailed out because that was a bit bigger profit margin. Um, but she received that today and gave me a glowing recommendation how good the bag was, what it, what it was in great condition, perfectly described, packaged beautifully and arrived fast. So there's another happy camper. Anyway, I'm going to finish watching this episode of Scott and Bailey. It's season three, episode one. I am addicted. It is absolutely brilliant. I um, can't get enough of it. And it's usually not my cup of tea either, these um, police ones where they show you gory things. But I don't look at gory things. I'm kind of like that. Right, Luna? <laughs> oh, <laughs> duh. She's waiting for... Oh, she's waiting for Pete. She keeps hearing car doors, but it's people coming home from work. And I think she keeps thinking someone's coming in, but they're not. She's so sad. Hi, Luna Bella. Pete just came home from the games, taking Luna around the block. The sun's trying to come out, but it's not doing very well. It is chilly. Okay, guys. I need to get planning. I've got things to do. Just been reaching out to all the yearbook crew. Um, Pete and I just ate, finished eating. It's, it's ten o'clock. Took Luna out real quick. It. Uh, we just had chicken Kiev tonight and chips, and then there was a couple of pieces of fillet left. So I gave those to Pete. So everyone's full. He's back in the office. I was just. Reaching out to the yearbook staff, thinking they'd see the text in the morning, and two of them, well, one of them responded, and the other one's just jumped into the yearbook, so that's pretty funny. She's gone in. I can see what they're doing, what pages they're working on and stuff. But anyway, that's that. I'm going to end it for tonight. I'm knackered. I'm so tired. Yesterday took a lot out of me. It doesn't take much. But tomorrow's Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. Ashley's off tomorrow, which will be nice. But like I said, got to go over and get the keys for the boat for the guys that go on the boat and then Ashley's got to get her beauty room ready because she has a makeover on Saturday morning people are starting to book again so that's good anyway that's it guys have a wonderful night I hope everyone had a brilliant Thursday day um, whatever it is you did today hope it was a good one and we'll definitely see you tomorrow take care guys and stay safe